looks good, but you get the point. Okay, so that looks good. Let's take a look at our acceleration enrichment now um, real quick. If we jump into our Excel fuel, we're gonna find that we can log from here and just hit the throttle and evaluate if we have crisp throttle response and then move up an engine RPM about 3,000 and hit the throttle as well. And then we can data log it and just review it and see if we need to update any of these tables here from the default values. I can tell you the sensitivity here, that's at 85%. I would probably bump this up to something like 95%, make it more sensitive. The DT, DTPS trigger is gonna be the, the change, the rate of change in our throttle in order for it to trip any of these tables here. I'm gonna lower that down a little bit because this is a race car, I'm not super worried about that. Excel limit is how much it's allowed to add based on what it's finding from all of our tables here, how much it's allowed to accumulate and increase the injector pulse width. 99.6 is a relatively large value. Let's lower that down here maybe a little bit to 70%. Uh, Excel pump sustain, that's gonna be how long it keeps the enrichment in for 5%. Uh, and, the, and the pump sustain is going to be fine, maybe even 10%, might want to leave it in a little bit longer. This should be good to go. Let's just try this real quick when we fire it up. And we're just going to evaluate tipping the throttle and then driving it, hitting the throttle, and just making sure that looks good. What's interesting is when it's running here, the idle is pretty smooth. It's not fluctuating around as it was before. So again, i got to look into what's going on with that. I'm, I'm not sure why it's doing that. That's something new that started. Uh, there it goes, it's starting to do that again. All right, let's go and test this acceleration enrichment. Let's go to our logging, starter logging, and then we're gonna hit the throttle real quick and see if it has throttle response. Let's try it. It has a ton of throttle response right there, so that looks good to me, it feels good to me. A lot of what we're gonna find here is we need to have the feel if it feels crisp. Good throttle response. Let me check at a higher engine RPM. Bring it down here, let's check at about 3,000 RPM or so see if it has good throttle response. All right, let me go and stop our data log here. Let's go double check this. open it up here in our data logger, Excel fuel, and we have a specific Excel tab here that we can look at our data in. Um, let's focus in right here, that's where I was just hitting, flipping the throttle. This is kind of the off idle area here, so let's look at this, uh, two different parts here. Let's do S, highlight that in S for, uh, for uh, focus in on this area. So I'm changing, making my the throttle changes here. We can find kind of the maroon color, we can see there's gonna be a, a jump right here. That's our actual, uh, the Excel fuel max. So that's gonna be how much it's adding here. The yellow is our throttle change. So you can see I'm blipping the throttle. Here I'm off throttle, we can see in the yellow it's flat. I blip the throttle, that's gonna be how much it adds or how much it changes. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't wanna miss any of the videos are going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.